today's topic is how you can find the dot product of the parallel vectors and the perpendicular vectors. So whenever we came across the word parallel vector, that means that the theta between the two vectors will be zero. It means the angle between the two vectors will be zero. So first of all, we will discuss the dot product of the parallel vectors. So let's say the two vectors A and B are parallel to each other as it is shown in the given figure. It means the angle between them will be zero. That is theta is equal to zero degree. So how we can find this dot product? Let A and B be the two vectors as shown in the figure. So in such a case, what will be the two, the dot product? If you are already given with this uh, property that the two vectors will be parallel to each other, then the formula will be A dot B is equals to magnitude of A, magnitude of B, cos of zero degree. So we have replaced theta with the zero degree as the two vectors are parallel. So it will be equals to the magnitude of A, the magnitude of B. So that means dot product of the two parallel vectors is the product of the magnitude of the two vectors. So this is the magnitude of vector A and this is the magnitude of vector B. So you just need to find the magnitude of the two vectors by the method of uh, finding the magnitude as the formula of finding the magnitude is A magnitude is equals to under root the square of the x component of the vector plus the square of the y component of the vector. This is the formula for finding the magnitude and you can easily find the dot product of the parallel. You just need the components of the two vectors. So let's say, let if we take the example, one vector is A is a vector with the components 1, 2 and B is a vector with the components 1, 3. So if we have to find and, uh, and it is given that these two vectors are parallel, how we can find their dot product which is just the multiplication of their magnitudes. So the magnitude of A will be equals to under root. 1 plus 2 square is 4 so it will be under root 5 and the magnitude of b will be under root 1 plus 9 that is equals to under root 10. So the dot product of the two vectors will be equals to the multiplication of their magnitudes that is under root 5 into under root 10. So this is how you can find the dot product of the two parallel vectors. Now we move towards the dot product of the perpendicular vectors. So here we are given with the two vectors a and b that are perpendicular to each other that means the angle between them is 90 degree that is this is the angle and the angle is 90 degree. So in such a case if we say that a and b are perpendicular to each other and the angle between them is 90 degree then what will be the dot product in, the, in that case let's write it as a dot b is equals to the magnitude of a the magnitude of b cos of 90 degree. We replace theta with the 90 degree as the angle between the two vectors is 90. So that means cos 90 is 0. So it means all of these will be equal to 0 as they are multiplying with each other. So that means the dot product of two perpendicular vectors will always be 0. So if we can calculate it algebraically, algebraically let's say we have the vector let a is 3 4 and b is minus 8 and 6 and let's find its dot product what we will get is a dot b is equals to magnitude of a magnitude of b a dot b is equals to ax plus a y into b x plus b y ax is the x component of a y is the y component of a b is the x component of b and b b y is the y component of b so it is clear from here that this will be the x component this will be the y component this will be the x component this will be the y component let's find the dot product as we will get ax is, is 3 4 and bx is minus 8 and 6 and we will multiply them as like this and like this so we will get minus 24 plus 24 equals to 0 it means these two vectors are perpendicular to each other because we have got their dot product equals to 0 so this is how you can find the dot product of the parallel and the perpendicular vectors and there are two facts that you have to keep in your mind that for parallel vectors we will have the dot product of the two vectors as the mag product of the magnitude of the two vectors while the dot product of the perpendicular vectors will always be zero.